was sitting up there on that berm. And about two and a half minutes, a couple of coyotes came over the rocks there. I turned down the collar and one literally step here on this berm. And I was so close, I couldn't lower the gun enough. I had a hard time, but obviously I got him. I hit him in the chest. He tipped over from the berm. He fell down right here. And look at that. 55 grain control chaos. Lehigh defense rounds. Pretty badass. Somebody fired around here. I don't know what that is. Pretty rusty. But there's liver chunks everywhere here. Kept playing coyote. Distress in about four minutes on that burn back there. A coyote came and he started barking at me. And rookie mistake, man. I uh, I should have just uh, ranged him, but I ranged him after the fact. And I fired. I thought I saw him tip backwards. I walked back there. There's no coyote. I missed him. I, he was at 281 and I had the scope set for 200. So I'm pretty sure I shot between his legs because he was straight on. I put it right on his chest. Must have skimmed his belly or something. And that's too bad because I could have had the double. Rookie mistake, I got too much in a rush. Should have ranged him and then take my shot. But hey, I'll take it. It's early, this is a male, they're all paired up. Made in season zone, and uh, I'm gonna get down the road and find me another one. All right, coyote number two. They are reacting after the rains. I know it's gonna rain tonight, so they know. They sense the, uh, the barometer change and they hunt. But we actually shot three coyotes right here with Rafael and Jose on Monday. So, but I knew there were more for all the sign we saw there on the, on the watch. So I came back and I call, I call, I see no movement. Something caught my eye. This off color, this tawny brown beige color stood up in the green oh well, there's something there i threw up my rifle and sure enough this coyote was just looking looking at the hill where the sound was coming from but he wasn't coming any closer i took the razor 4000 gb give it a click told me 316 told me what to dial on my on my vortex strike eagle here i put it in his chest man and he just dropped and look at it, completely tore out the leg, went through the shoulder, and one shot, man, 55 grain. Uh, Lehigh Defense Control Chaos, those things are, are doing it. Awesome, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep calling. It's a nice day, I'm gonna see if I can find me another one. Give me a little, use the little. NPR. Nice dog, man. Went through the through the leg and the chest. Nice smell. Alright, let's go. Find us another one. They are reacting. Hey guys coyote number three big male this is an honest 35 37 pound coyote i don't have my scale but i almost died bringing him up from <laughs> we're calling these three coolies that come together like that and there's a wash running on the bottom and i knew something 
was gonna be in there because there was a lot of jackrabbit poop and coyote tracks everywhere. And I go, I'm, I'm running the Daniel Defense Shorty, the uh, 14 inch barrel with a pin and welted, pin and welted brake to make it legal. But um, I'm only running a 126 PST Gen 2 and I had the scope on two power and I think he was coming down on the wash because I saw tracks there when I picked him up. And he must do saying something. Coyotes are coyotes. Something caught movement on the left. And I look and I saw him skirting, going up the hill. And when I move, he kind of saw me. I had to turn the sticks a little. And uh, cause I was facing this way and I had to turn. And he started moving, moving. But I have the scope on two power huge field of view i can track him easy in the scope and i was about to bark him to a stop and then the uh the remote control hit the rifle and it set off the the fax bang like when you shoot the sound comes on a screaming dog or whatever so they can sometimes they stop hesitate so when that happened the the barking aggressive thing came on and uh he stopped to look back and I said I was tracking him on the scope. I put it on him and hit him, and he just railed, railed. just rolled down all the way to the bottom of the wash. I almost have a, a heart attack digging him out of there because I didn't have my my drag rope. It's tied up to another coyote on the roof of the truck, so I had to pull him with my hands, and uh, that wasn't fun. But. Um, could have been number four, man. I blew that shot in the morning. I can't get over it, but let's go find another one. Big, beautiful dog. Been shooting males all day. Here's the, the DD, super lightweight. Nice dog. Beautiful dog. Full grown dog. Big male. Got big nuts on him. That ain't no puppy. All right. Let's go find another one. Well, here it is. The end of the day. I have three to show for my efforts. <laughs> Should I have four? I miss one up in the morning. But, you know, three is three. It's better than nothing. And uh, I grind a lot of stands. I hunted from morning till right now. So the sun's going down and I probably hit eight or nine dry stands. But, man, I had fun. I shot him in the morning at 20 yards. Shot him at 316 on a big flat with the MPR. Shot this one with the Daniel Defense, super lightweight. He was going up this ridge. I dropped him at, uh, let me turn off my, my red light because it's been my red that is just beautiful. When you put the crosshair on them, that red that glows like a neon light on them. He was 168 when I shot him. Rolled down this huge hill and landed on the on the wash below. So hey, son, a little bit, little light left. I might just have to make one last thing. The last thing, you know? <laughs> Why not? Here they are. I shot him right here in the morning. I left him here and just came back to take a picture because he was on that berm when I shot him. I was 20 yards on the other berm above him. But yeah, man, I'll take that. Pretty cool. Sometimes I feel like changing it up, and today I did. I hunted with that little 14 inch Daniel Defense. 
I got a secret sauce in that round. It's fast. And it just crashes them. All right, let's make one last stand. Maybe I can still get lucky again. <laughs> 